and welcome to the new fly tying video from Wildside Fishing. Now today we're going to tie a bob fly. It's a classic bob fly. It's one in particular for salmon and sea trout on the lochs, but also equally good for brown trout. It's called the Blue Zulu. So we've got a size 10 hook in black silk. We're just going to wind this on. Now we bring it down the shank up towards the bend and then we're going to trim it off. There we go. And just give it a couple more turns to seal in the end. So we're going to add a tail. Now the tail that I use on this fly is red floss. Normal red floss. So make sure that you pull it all through so you've got no loose ends. And then we're just going to, yeah that looks good. We're just going to cut off a length. There we go. Now we just put it on top of the hook and we're going to trim this after so it doesn't matter. Give it a couple of turns around just to hold it in place and get it just right. And now we're going to tie the floss in big loose turns down the shank towards the eye. And then once it's there we're going to come back along the shank in tight turns. Now this is not only to hold the tail in place, this also gives the body of the fly a more uniform shape. So we bring it down and we stop where we started. Then we can trim off the top bit. Oh, there we go. And then we pull the tail back and snip it off. And there we've got our tail. So the next thing to tie in is the rib. Now for the rib, we're going to use oval silver thread. There we go. We're just going to tie this down. Again, put this over the whole length of what you've tied on already to keep it uniform. So big, open, loose turns up towards the top. And then start bringing it back nice and tight. Now these ones don't have to be quite as touching as the other ones were. And stop at where the tail starts. So, now we're going to use black dubbing for the body. The dubbing that I like to use on these flies is a possum. Now, it's very easy to use. It floats really well. So it's going to be quite a big, bushy body that we want on this fly. So we'll use quite a lot of dubbing on this one. Now, we'll just pick out a bit there. That looks about right. So, I mean, this stuff really twists on nice and easily. Just, just lay it on, twist it around between your finger and thumb. We want to get a tapering effect here, so start it thin at the top and thick at the bottom. So once that's twisted, you'll see there, there's the taper. Slide it up and wrap it around. Nice, easy turns around. Now once you get near the top of the fly, just stop for a second, give it one little twist and it will give you a perfect finish at the top. So, oh, one little bit on the top there. Ah, there's a hair there, there we go. So the next thing is going to be a black cock hackle. Now we just check the hackle for size. Uh, just Bring it up to the hook. There we go. I mean, it should be roughly one to one and a half times the size between the shank and the point of the hook. So we just strip that off and trim it. And this has got to be tied in tight because we're going to palmer this. So just turn it a bit to the side there so you get a nice angle to start with. And then tie down the stem here really tightly. Bend it back and then trim off the top there and then give it a few more turns just to make sure it can't slip. So, hackle pliers at the ready. There we go. And snip it onto the end of the hackle. Now I'm going to give it two turns to start with at the head. And don't worry if it looks a bit funny at this point. We're going to just wind it back round. Nice, open, easy turns. That's two three, four, I'm going to give it another fifth one here. I will give it, oh, yeah, we'll give it a last one. There we go. Now, very important, you need to trap the hackle with the rib. 
Now I can put the pliers down because it's it's pretty firmly trapped. And then do not let go of the rib at this point and wiggle it through the fibres as you bring it forward in these nice, easy, open turns. When you wiggle it, it just lets the fibres come through and it stops things getting stuck down. So we bring it forward. Now when you come to the last turn, which we're almost at now, finger and thumb over the fibres and give it the final turnover. And this just helps to push the fibres at the head back. It stops them sticking up straight. Now we do locking turns on the rib. So we go one round and once round and once round again. Then pull the rib backwards and give it another couple of turns over. And this just helps to lock it in place so it really cannot slip. Then snip it off. Now, this would be a, a basic black Zulu at this point. So we just snip off the tail. But this is going to be a blue Zulu. So you take a nice blue hackle now. The ones I use are fluorescent blue. I mean, this is quite eye-catching, I think. It goes nicely against the black. And you want these soft fibres here at the very top of the hackle. These are the ones you want. They're nice and leggy when they get tied on. So again, tie it in at the head, nice and tight, and bring it back to where the black hackle finished. Now just bend the stem up, give it a couple of locking turns there, and then trim off the stock. There we go. Oh, that's it. Now, we're going to not use all of this hackle. We only want the soft bit at the top, so it doesn't matter where you grab it. As long as it's down about midways, it's fine. So, pulling the fibres back, bring it round, and at this point, just rub your thumb up the hackle to spread the fibres. Finger and thumb over, pulling them back and touching turns, going forward towards the eye. So bring it round. Oh, bump the bobbin a bit there. And we'll, we'll give it one last turn here. And each time, pull it back. We pull it backwards with your finger and thumb. So we'll round the back of the hackle with the silk, and one time round again round the back, and one time round, and then one time forward. And we can trim off the hackle, which we can use again for a different fly. So. All we have to do now is finger and thumb over the blue head hackle and we can form the head. So nice tight turns and form a nice small neat head to whip finish. So my trusty Stone Age whip finish tool is about to be put in place. And it's a very eye catching fly already. You can see why fish like it. So we'll just whip finish this just now. There we go. Give it a few turns here. Uh, ease it off. Pull down. And we can trim. So. All we've got to do now is varnish it. With my trusty Maybelline nail varnish. And we give it a good slap on the, on the head here. Plenty of this on it. I mean, don't worry about the eye getting clogged. We're going to deal with that after. But you want the head to be totally sealed. So we get a hackle point from an old hackle. Here it is. And we just push this through the eye. And we take out all the stuff that could make it impossible to tie on. And there we go. The blue Zulu is finished. Super Bob Fly, always one to have with you. Very good in a big wave. And like I said earlier, especially good for salmon and for sea trout. But brown trout quite like it as well. So, thank you for watching. And we will be back with a, with a new video very soon. And until then, keep it wild side.